Today we're taking a look at these NBA matches, which are happening on Wednesday, February 2nd, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Portland Trail. The Blazers have lost some form and fluency in the last few weeks. They have lost four of their last five games to move to 21 to 30 for the season, with plenty of work still to be done as the season draws to a close. They were beaten 98-81 by the Thunder in their previous game. The Lakers have outright struggled this season. That is evident from their 24 to 27 record, well below par for the quality in their roster. They fell to their third straight loss as the Lakers were beaten 129-121 in their previous game. Honestly, I like the Blazers more right now and how they are playing, even though they were utterly disappointing against OKC. The Lakers are like headless chickens without King James, which cannot be said for the Blazers without Dame Lillard. It's going to be a close one, but it looks that Portland currently acts more as a team, unlike the Lakers, who are relying on individuals such as Davis, Westbrook, and Monk. Even if the visitors don't secure a win here, I believe they will cover. This one could go either way, but at the moment, the Blazers are in better form, and I am going with them. Our first betting pick will be Blazers at plus 3. The Los Angeles Lakers were close to snapping a two-game losing streak, as they had a lead for most of the second half against the Atlanta Hawks on the road, but ended empty-handed. Frank Vogel's team had a plus-11 lead at the start of the fourth quarter, but the Hawks went on a 15-2 run and won that period by 18 points to secure a 129-121 victory. Los Angeles narrowly failed to cover a plus-7.5 spread, the second time in three games they didn't cover. The Lakers now dropped to a 21-30 ATS record. The Portland Trail Blazers displayed the weakest defensive performance of the campaign as they scored a miserable 81 points in a 98-81 road loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder. Chauncey Billups' side opened the game well and had an 8-point lead at the interval, but they experienced a meltdown in the second 24 minutes. Portland scored just 34 points in the second half, shot only 18.7% from downtown, and made 6 free throws opposite the Thunder's 16, so they deserved to lose. The Blazers failed to cover a minus 3.5 spread, the third time in four games they didn't cover. At the moment, Portland has a 21-30 ATS record. Our second betting pick will be over 222. Denver Nuggets vs Utah Jazz. Denver is averaging 109 points per game. They scored 136 points in their last game, making 60.2% of their field goals and 53.5% of their three-pointers. Aaron Gordon led the way for the Nuggets with 24 points and 7 rebounds. Nikola Jokic finished with 18 points, 9 rebounds, and 15 assists, while Monty Morris added 18 points and 7 assists. Denver has played well defensively, giving up 106.9 points per game. They gave up 100 points in their last game and will need a similar effort if they want to get the win. Not having Donovan Mitchell is obviously backbreaking for the Nuggets, but it could prove to be an even bigger problem with Rudy Gobbert also sidelined. The Jazz's star center guzzles rebounds like Scooby Snacks whenever he's on the floor. Take that element away and opponents have a chance on the boards. Even worse, there's no other available big on the floor capable of actually challenging the college Jokic. The Joker is going to make Utah pay on the boards, and he'll surely pick on whoever is tasked with actually guarding him. It's worth noting Hassan Whiteside is also banged up for the Jazz and listed as day-to-day -day on the injury report. Utah's front court is in shambles. The Nuggets are playing with a lot of confidence right now, and they'll have the luxury of rolling into the Vivint Arena against a Jazz team on a five-game losing streak. Utah is crashing and burning quicker than the latest cryptocurrency surge. Utah is averaging 113.5 points per game. They scored 106 points in their last game, making 46.9% of their field goals and 37.5% of their three-pointers. Bojan Bogdanovic led the way for the Jazz with 23 points and 4 rebounds. Mike Conley finished with 22 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals, while Jordan Clarkson added 17 points and 5 assists. Utah has also played well defensively, giving up 107.6 points per game. They gave up 126 points in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to win this game. 
Our first betting pick will be Denver Nuggets to cover the spread. Watching Joe Ingles go down must have felt like a gut punch for the Jazz. The 34-year-old guard has been Mr. Reliable for the team for years, but now, he'll have to watch from the sidelines after tearing his ACL in Sunday's loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. When it rains, it pours for the Jazz. They have lost their last five straight games. Donovan Mitchell is still sidelined with concussion symptoms, and Rudy Gobert is dealing with calf issues. So the team has essentially been trying to turn water into wine with their two best players sidelined. Hassan Whiteside is also listed as day-to-day -day with an injury heading into Wednesday's game against the Nuggets. No Gobert on the floor is a colossal problem for the Jazz when going head-to-head -head with Nikola Jokic. The reigning league MVP is averaging 26 points per game and 13.7 boards. Our second betting pick will be under. Denver Nuggets vs Utah Jazz. Brooklyn is averaging 111.9 points per game. They scored 106 points in their last game, making 39.8% of their field goals and 39.3% of their three-pointers. Kyrie Irving led the way for Brooklyn with 32 points, 7 rebounds, and 7 assists. Patty Mills finished with 24 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists, while James Johnson added 14 points and 4 rebounds. Brooklyn has played struggle defensively, giving up 110 points per game. They gave up 110 points in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to get the win. Even though they are playing the second of a back-to-back, -back, the Nets are still a better team than the Kings. Brooklyn will surely lose a lot of energy against Phoenix on Tuesday, but will have enough in the tank left to defeat the struggling Kings. Sacramento clearly lacks chemistry and enough quality to compete for the playoffs, and it's quite possible the Kings will make some moves before the trade deadline because this isn't working. Our first betting pick will be the Nets. The Sacramento Kings returned home from a five-game road trip on which they lost all five games. They didn't have a chance in the latest tilt with the New York Knicks, the Kings opened the game with a 3-0 and 5-4 lead and then trailed for the rest of the game. The hosts were up by 29 at one moment and deservedly secured a 116-96 victory in the end. Sacramento didn't cover a plus-7 spread, which is the fifth time in seven games they failed to cover. The Kings now dropped to a 22-30 ATS record. The Brooklyn Nets started their five-game road trip with a 110-106 defeat to the Golden State Warriors, suffering their fourth consecutive loss in the process. Brooklyn erased a 19-point deficit and had a lead in the fourth quarter, but couldn't keep it, and the Warriors were better in closing moments to get the win. The Nets shot under 40.0% from the field, while the first quarter proved to be decisive, as the visitors scored just 20 points in that period and allowed 31 on the other end. The Nets covered a plus 10.5 spread, the first time they covered after three straight games to improve to a 19-29 one ATS record. Our second betting pick will be over the total. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.